Hi there, this is uh, Shrikanda Sari. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to uh, continue our uh, studies on uh, uh, building a linked list. Okay. So particularly, we will focus on uh, how to add a node after a specific uh, position uh, in the linked list. Okay. So in the last uh, three lessons, uh, we have just uh, uh, created a linked list. So if you observe uh, the program, so whatever we have done until now, okay. So we have uh, uh, written uh, code uh, so far, uh, this code, okay. So if we run this uh, small program, so we have uh, done the functionality of adding a node at the beginning, at the end, and after a position, which we need to do now, okay. So already we have uh, the display linked list uh, uh, code also, okay. So first, uh, uh, if you take the, select the following options here, so the first option is going to be add uh, whatever the node or whatever the data you are going to give, it's going to be added at the very beginning of the linked list, okay. So first, uh, I'm adding uh, just one element. So after that, I am selecting the, the second option here. So which uh, adds the node at the end of the existing uh, nodes in the link list. Okay. So I have just I'm taking two here. So I'm just keeping uh, keep on uh, building the uh, link list by selecting the options. Okay. So just add the five elements. Uh, so now uh, until uh, whatever the link list uh, you want to see, you can use the display option here. So let's take the uh, four as our choice so it displays the contents of the link list here okay so he here it is the link list which we have uh, built until now using the uh, the last uh, three lessons here okay so uh, now our goal is to add a functionality uh, so after adding a node after a specific position in the link list okay so if we take this very uh, very little example here just a second So if you take uh, the very basic uh, link list or else uh, this link list as an example here. So if you display, if you select the display option uh, once again. So here we have a specific link list like that here. Okay. So our goal is to add a particular uh, node after a specific position. Okay. So we here we assume that our position is going to be uh, started from uh, zero. Okay. So in that uh, scenario, uh, so first element uh, or the first node in the link list is going to be the zeroth position. And the last node is going to be one less than the total number of uh, uh, elements in the link list, which is going to be four here. Okay, so uh, always the last node consists uh, null as it's in the address part of its, uh, 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 its address part. Okay, so value which it contains some value, and uh, it contains null in the address part, which uh, the significance of that null is that it is the end of the link list. Okay. So all rest of all other nodes will contain the address of the next node. Okay. So for example, this second node uh, in the address part of the second node consists the address of the, the next node, which is uh, node three here. Okay. So okay. So this is the position zero. The first, uh, the value first consists of position zero. But the two, the two here sign uh, tells that it's position one, and three in position two, and so on and so forth here. Okay. So let's come back to our uh, program. So we need to add the uh, so add after position functionality to our existing link list here. Okay. So first and foremost, let's write uh, the function code for that. Uh, so add after pos. Let's call the definition here. Let's say int add after pos. Okay. So we need to uh, name the functions as very meaningful. Whatever the functionality is going to perform here. Okay. So let's make us ourselves some room here. Okay. So by hitting the enter a couple of uh, times, okay. So first and foremost, uh, we need to uh, check whether the uh, node we are creating is the very first node in the linked list, or uh, the, whether there exists any node in the linked list. Uh, that uh, thing we need to check here, okay? Because uh, if there are no nodes uh, existing in the linked list, then there is no case in point of uh, doing this. Uh, operation because we need to have at least uh, one element in the link list to perform this add after operation here okay so first i am taking a, a node uh, the definition uh, the the node pointer or uh, i'm just creating uh, the whatever the required uh, data items here okay so and we need a temporary uh, node also okay so uh, we need a data item just to store the data part Sorry, we don't need a data part actually here. Okay, so what we need is a position to uh, to track or uh, to reach to that uh, after that node position. Okay, so after that position, so we the, whatever the uh, data you are giving into the position, 
after that uh, position you are going to add your uh, note okay so in the link list okay so uh, next uh, first let we need to check uh, whether uh, so first and foremost in the uh, according to algorithm we need to check whether uh, uh, there exist any nodes in the link list okay so as we have done in other uh, functions the the only way to check whether the link list is empty or it has some uh, nodes uh, inside it is that uh, by using the head node okay so if the head node consists null which means that the link list is empty okay so that's what we are going to do now here so if you say head is equal to if you say so head is equal to null okay so if you say head is equal to null so which means that uh, let's give a message here printf slash and slash t there should be some elements there should be some elements to perform to perform this operation so there should be some elements to perform this operation here okay so okay so and then we can uh, guide the user uh, by just giving another message let's let's say that uh, slash and slash t a couple of times and uh, hit enter to go back or something like that uh, so that hit enter to go back to the main menu okay so it hit enter to go back to the main menu here okay so after that let's say uh, get ch and so return one okay so we are coming out of the function here okay so if that is not the case in the else part uh, we need to write uh, the actual code here okay so the actual code is going to be written inside this uh, else part here okay so first we need to create uh, that uh, new node by with the help of uh, our uh, uh, mlock uh, syntax here okay struct we need to uh, cast it uh, with the uh, struct uh, node here okay struct node star malloc malloc size of malloc size of node okay so this is going to be the uh, syntax okay malloc uh, size of node here okay so this is going to be the syntax to create a node here okay okay so or else uh, this struct is not necessary here okay so it depends upon the compiler we are using here so i since i'm writing the code in uh, visual studio uh, 2005 express so syntax uh, slightly changes if you might use borland or turbo c++ or something like that and uh, so here it's always better to write uh, size of uh, struct node here okay so size of uh, struct node okay so in this way uh, we can create a node here okay so in this way we are creating a node here so as soon as we create a node let's uh, uh, enter uh, some uh, data into that uh, uh, data part of that node here okay so there should be some data uh, which uh, in the form of a node which we are uh, since we create a node the node always consists of two parts here the net data part and the address part here okay so let's give a message here enter the data item into the data item to be stored in the node okay so enter the data item to be stored in the node and let's have with the help of a scan of statement uh, let's put that uh, data here okay so let's say ampersand new node of data so new node of data okay so next we can say that a new node of uh, the next part of that new node we can uh, uh, make it null okay so since we are uh, we haven't uh, uh, linked the node whatever we have created uh, inside the link list here okay so after that we need to uh, uh, use the uh, we need to scan the position uh, enter the we need to ask the user uh, over the position in which we he need to uh, enter this uh, element here enter this uh, node uh, in the link list okay so i am just uh, giving a message for that enter the position where the let me go to full screen here where the enter the position where the node is to be 
insert it okay so after that the user uh, need to give the position so let's make use of this uh, scan of statement once again scan of percentage d and percent pos okay so we have successfully uh, taken the position data uh, position data also okay so now with the help of uh, for loop uh, so we need to traverse uh, until that position and after that position we need to uh, adjust whatever the node we have created uh, okay so for that purpose first let's uh, store the address of the head node in the uh, temporary uh, temporary uh, pointer here okay so with the help of for loop so so let's take a for loop here okay so for loop let's create a variable at the beginning for using the for loop here also we can do it within the block of the for loop also so for i is equal to so for i is equal to 1 uh, i less than or equal to position so we need to traverse until that uh, position okay so temp is equal to so temp is equal to temp next okay so we are just moving the uh, temporary uh, pointer to until that okay so by doing so uh, if our temp gets no address or it says just temp is just uh, referencing to null which means that our position is unknown here okay so we have uh, given a way more uh, uh, position a value to a position than the number of elements we have inside the linked list okay so to do that uh, just to, to handle that condition so i'm just putting another message here so there are uh, less than percentage d elements in the linked list okay so you can just say pos here okay so let's so we can put another message also here let's uh, simply saying that uh, simply saying that hit enter to go back to the so hit enter to go back or something like that you can have a small message to guide the user and get ch just feel that appearance and let's put a return one to take bank to take back them here okay so out of the function okay so if that is not the case if that is not the case here okay so if that is not the case here we are just closing the for loop and then we are uh, uh, sending the node uh, whatever we are creating in between the uh, nodes and after that uh, particular position to this uh, few lines of code here okay so new node uh, next part of the new node is going to be the temp next address here okay so by doing so uh, we have just uh, we are just trying to break the link between the existing node and we are uh, somehow inserting the uh, newly created node in between uh, uh, that uh, the chain of and then one more statement here so temp next is equal to temp next is equal to new node okay so with this uh, the code is finished whatever the code we require to just to add a node after a specific position inside the linked list is done with okay so if everything goes well <laughs> so if you run the code until now before running that uh, we need to um, call the uh, this function add after pos in the uh, main function at the position 3 here so since that is the uh, required choice add after uh, pos okay so add after pos okay so if you run it if everything goes well i think we have a small problem here you know next and declare identifier oh <laughs> a small silly mistake happened somewhere around and you know hope some uh, spelling mistake had rolled here let's run once again it says 118 it's 118 where is 118 here new node new node okay the small spelling mistake a uh, new instead of new node we haven't spelled it correctly okay so now uh, the code is building up here it's going to execute i think uh, something has broken already let's start without debugging here okay One second, one second. Okay, so I have just uh, switched the gears here. Uh, so uh, my Visual C++ 2005 Express Edition uh, 
uh, says that it has some problem with the uh, command prompt <laughs> so I have shifted to 2012 express edition so I have just brought the code the entire code here okay so if I run the application uh, so until now what we have done we, we get all the uh, list of uh, options here uh, based on the uh, switch case here so first I am entering uh, uh, the taking the first option which is at the beginning I'm trying to enter an uh, item so and after that uh, I'm filling the link list with at least uh, five elements I'm just uh, uh, putting all the uh, data items here okay so if you view the link list until now uh, so uh, just four let us let us add one more element here okay so this is the link list of uh, five nodes here okay so if, uh, as we said as I said earlier uh, the first node has the position zero and the second node has position one and so on and so forth so if you want to add, uh, add an element after this position uh, after this uh, uh, zeroth position so you need to select this option add after the position which is the third option here so it asks us for a data item as we have coded uh, in our uh, code let's say 45 and acts as a next it asks us for the position where the node to be inserted here let's take a zero so uh, now if you display the link list uh, so here it is the 45 gets added here okay so in same way so if you want to add a node after the fourth uh, position which is going to be the four here zero one two three and four so let's take that uh, one more time the third option here let's say uh, this time 55 and let's say the option uh, position as four and now let's display the link list okay so 55 gets added in the after the fourth position which is after the node four here okay so in this way uh, let's go back to the code here so in this way our code uh, works so let's uh, revise once again so here we have this is the code which we have uh, written uh, so far which is add after uh, position so first according to the uh, algorithm uh, so we have uh, uh, taken uh, uh, so first we have uh, uh, taken a uh, two uh, whatever the data items are required here the temporary node a uh, node uh, uh, in which is going to be inserted which is the new node and the position here and then we have uh, checked whether the link list is empty or not so if it is uh, empty there is no case in point uh, to add a node after the after the, so there is no case in point of adding the uh, nodes uh, after a specific position in the linker list if the no the list is empty here okay so after that we have in the else condition we have written the actual code here so first we have created a new node and entered the data item until this part here okay so we have just scanned the position where uh, we need to uh, enter the data item and after that by using the help of this uh, for loop we have traversed until that uh, uh, position and after that position we need uh, some changes in the code uh, in the link list uh, to add the node in between the specific position here okay so this is all about um, so hope you have uh, understood well the concept uh, hit a like button or put your views uh, in the form of uh, comments or any, or any errors uh, also uh, welcomed okay so see you in the next lesson